So let's take a look at the Euclidean algorithm for finding the greatest common divisor. Let's go to the algorithm. So this is the algorithm. This says GCD of A comma B is equal to A when B is equal to 0. Or else GCD of A comma B is nothing but GCD of B comma A mod B. So we'll first try to understand the first condition. What is that? GCD of A comma B is equal to A when B is 0. Or otherwise we can write it as GCD of A comma 0 is equal to A. We'll understand this if we use an example. Say GCD of 5 comma 0 is nothing but 5 because 5 divides 5 and 5 divides 0. So this is the meaning of this. GCD of A comma B is equal to A if B is equal to 0. If we have positive integers A and B and B is not equal to 0, then what we have to do is we have to apply this repeatedly. That is GCD of A comma B is nothing but GCD of B comma A mod B. So we will be using this repeatedly to find the GCD. Let us understand this with a simple example. Let's compute the GCD of 15 and 45. So here A is nothing but 15 and B is 45. So what is uh, the formula or the expression? GCD of A comma B is equal to GCD of B comma A mod B. So we'll substitute the values here. That is nothing but GCD of what is B here? 45 comma A is 15 mod B that is 45. So what we arrive at here is GCD of 45. What is 15 mod 45? It is just 15. So again we have to use this formula here. So this is like GCD of A comma B. So our A now is 45 and what is our B? B is 15. So GCD of A comma B is, is equal to GCD of B comma A mod B. So we can very well write this as say GCD of 45 comma 15. So this is of the form GCD of A comma B. This can be written as GCD of what is B here? B is 15 comma A is 45 mod what is B? 15. This is nothing but GCD of 15 comma what is 45 mod 15? The remainder is 0. So what is GCD of A comma 0? That is equal to A. So we say 15. So 15 is the greatest common divisor for 15 and 45. So how did we achieve this? We were achieving this by using this concept repeatedly. So we first found GCD of 15 comma 45. This was equivalent to GCD of 45 comma 15. GCD of 45 comma 15. And finally that was leading us to this particular value GCD of 15 comma 0. And finally we arrived at 15. So we say GCD of 15 comma 45 is nothing but 15. So this is how you use the Euclidean algorithm to find the greatest common divisor. Let's take another example. I want you to compute the GCD for these two values. We've already seen the algorithm. We've taken an example, we understood it. Please go ahead and compute the GCD for this. So here A is 120 and B is 295. So what is uh, GCD of A comma B is nothing but GCD of B. What is B? 295 comma A mod B that is 120 mod 295. So this leads us to 
GCD of 295 comma what is 120 mod 295 it is 120 so now we have this in the form GCD of A comma B what is A here this is uh, 295 and what is B here that is 120 so now we can write this GCD of 295 comma 120 can be written as GCD of B what is B B is 120 comma A mod B that is 295 mod 120 so what is the result here this is GCD of 120 what is the reminder when you divide 295 by 120 55 so it is 55 so now our a is uh, new a is 120 and what is b b is 55 so we can write gcd of a that is 120 comma b 55 as you can just write it as gcd of b that is 55 comma gcd of a mod b that is 120 comma 120 mod 55 so what is the result we get here this is GCD of 55 what is 120 divided by 55 the reminder is 10 so again let's continue the process now A is 55 what is B B is 10 now we can write GCD of 55 comma 10 a comma b is nothing but gcd of 10 comma so that is 55 mod 10 so what is this this is nothing but gcd of 10 comma what is 55 mod 10 when you divide 10 by 55 the remainder is 5 we have not yet achieved 0 here we have to continue this process until b goes to 0 so we will continue this i will be continuing this here so what we have achieved is gct of 10 comma 5 so now our a is 10 and b is 5 so we can write gcd of a comma b is nothing but what is this this is gcd of b 5 comma a mod a mod 5 that is a mod b so this is nothing but gcd of 5 comma what is 10 mod 5 reminder is 0 so now we know gcd of a comma 0 is equal to a so we say 5 and then we terminate the process since we have reached a zero here we will terminate the process and what is the output 5 so the greatest common divisor for 120 and 295 is 5 i hope you are able to follow this so we will see another way of writing the same concept according to the division algorithm we know this when a is divided by n a can be very well written as a is equal to n into q plus reminder r so this is the division algorithm we have learned this in our previous classes so we can use this concept and we'll be able to find the gcd so let me tell you how to use that so we'll take the greatest number here and assume it as a and this number is considered to be n we will represent this in the form given here we will divide a by n and we will represent it in the form given here so 295 is equal to 120 into 2 so that is 240 plus reminder 55 so it is nothing but 295 we are expressing 295 using this concept a is equal to nq plus r so it is nothing but 120 into 2 plus 55 or else we can even write this as 295 
by 120 can be represented like this that is nothing but 120 into 2 plus 55. The next thing is we are going to take 120 here and we are going to take the remainder 55 and we are going to represent 120 in the format given here using this 55. So 55 into 2 is 110, the remainder is 10. And now we'll take this 55 here. 55 is equal to, we'll take the remainder 10 and 10 into 5 is 50. So the remainder here will be 5. So that is the next step. Next step we'll be moving 10 here. So we'll be expressing 10 using the remainder 5. So 10 is nothing but 5 into 2 plus remainder is 0. So once when you reach 0, we stop here. The remainder we have achieved in the previous step, 5 is considered to be the greatest common divisor. So this is also again the Euclidean algorithm, but it is uh, using the concept of division that we have seen in our previous slides. So now I want you to go and compute the GCD of 1970 and 1066 using the concepts we have learned.